Hi there, I'm Neil and today we'll be walking through a daily inspection of a diamond mower skid steer forestry disc mulcher. With this machine it's very important that your loader is sized appropriately. Diamond requires a high flow machine with between 32 and 45 gallons a minute of flow. The diamond disc mulcher also works well in land clearing operations where the trees are between 2 and 10 inches in diameter. Because this thing can throw debris, it's very important that uh, it's used in a rural setting away from houses or highways. Uh, because it will throw debris, a shatter resistant front window is mandatory. If your machine doesn't have one, Diamond does offer shatter resistant front windows for many makes and models. Talk to your dealer or visit diamondmowers.com for more information. And with all of our equipment, it's very, uh, always use your personal protective equipment such as, uh, you know, safety glasses or gloves for that daily maintenance and operation. Attach the carrier to the quick attach plate just as you would a bucket or any other attachment. Uh, make sure that the pins go completely through the plate at equal lengths. Failure to uh, correctly attach to the plate will result in the mulcher becoming disconnected and damage will occur. So attach the hoses to the loader with the quick coupler fittings. Um, good idea to uh, just wipe off the ends, make sure that you're not introducing any contamination into the system. The uh, case drain line comes with both male and female ends, so you can pick the one that uh, will connect up to your loader. Um, if that case drain does become disconnected or pinched, um, the motor out sh output shaft seal will fail, so always be careful of that. After mounting, make sure that your hoses are protected in all positions from pinching or stretching. So if your hoses are stretching or maybe even getting too close to the ground or the track, what you can do is loosen these, uh, these clamps and slide the hose forward or backward to give yourself a little more, uh, more room or even, uh, even removing one of these clamps is another option uh, to get that, that length that you need. Diamond's forestry mulcher operates in some pretty rough conditions and damage is bound to occur. Inspect your hoses, couplers, and fittings frequently for leaks or other damage. And of course, shut it down immediately if you do happen to, uh, to find one. Running your carrier low on oil uh, will cause damage to your carrier. Diamond uses hardened steel teeth, which are very sharp. Uh, that's why I'm wearing a glove, because um, those will cut you uh, if you're not careful. So just check these daily to make sure that they uh, are sharp and they're tight to the disc, tight to their holder. Uh, once these teeth start to wear down a bit, because uh, they will wear, you can sharpen them uh, just by, uh, by sharpening the inside cup uh, of the tooth, what you're trying to do is restore these points uh, back to sharp. When they can't be sharpened anymore, you can uh, remove it from its tooth holder, rotate it 180 degrees, and expose those, uh, those fresh points that were, were protected right up next to the disc. Um, as the teeth do wear down though, you might want to rotate them around on the disc. Um, the teeth that are on the top side of the disc, they don't see as much dirt. Um, so those teeth, you might want to move to the outside perimeter. And then from the outside perimeter, move them to the outside bottom where uh, they're going to see a lot of that ground contact wear out very quickly and basically just kind of go to uh, uh, live out their final days there. As you're replacing teeth, always replace them in pairs from one side to the other, the, the matching one. And uh, you know that's gonna maintain the balance across the disc and uh, prevent any vibration. And uh, always when you're replacing the teeth, um, make sure to torque that bolt down to uh, 120 foot-pounds and check them frequently. So the disc itself is not only a blade carrier, but it acts as a flywheel to uh, store energy and make cutting that much easier. You know, check it frequently for tooth holders that might be coming loose or, or any cracks or any other damage like that. In the event any of these tooth holders do become loose uh, or damaged, they're easily replaceable. Just remove those, uh, those two bolts and the uh, plate, and then you can remove the tooth holder and replace it pretty easily. Also check this thing uh, pretty frequently that the bolts holding the, the disc to the spindle remain tight. Uh, if any do come loose, make sure to use a red Loctite on that and uh, torque them down to the specs found in the operator's manual. Uh, alongside the, uh, the spindle bolts there are Diamond's pat patented planing knives. 
So those can be, uh, can be sharpened as you need to, uh, or just replaced when they get worn out. The Diamond Forcer disc mulcher comes with two different configurations for the intake side of the machine. The narrow intake, which is what we have here, is designed for single stem, kind of taller trees without a lot of lower branches. It uses this, uh, this bolt-on ramp to help scoop up material already on the ground and direct it into the cutting surface. The wide configuration removes this ramp and leaves a lot, uh, much wider opening, which uh, helps feed those bushier trees like, uh, like cedar more efficiently. So under our cover here we've got, uh, we've got our motor and our spindle. Um, Diamond's direct drive spindle uses an oil bath to uh, lubricate those bearings and you'll need to change the oil every 500 hours or once a year with 7590 synthetic gear oil. Uh, spindle also has uh, Diamond's patented replaceable splined insert uh, to protect both uh, the motor and the spindle in case there is, uh, in case there is wear between, uh, between the two. And these spindle bolts down here should be checked for movement daily. Make sure that those stay tight. The pressure relief valve right here, that's going to protect the spindle in case that there is a, a failure in the motor shaft seal. It's going to leak the oil out here rather than uh, pushing all that oil into the spindle and potentially damaging it. Uh, the motor is attached to the spindle with four bolts that are held in place with these keepers. So do check those, uh, those bolts for torque uh, every day for the first 40 hours and then uh, once a week after that. Our standard motor is a, uh, a gear motor which uh, does provide plenty of, uh, plenty of power, uh, very simple, very easy to maintain. Um, that is protected from excessive pressures by a pressure relief valve much like this one right back here. Uh, but what we have on this one is actually a uh, our optional uh, bent axis piston motor and that uh, that does feature increased efficiency meaning less heat buildup as well as increased pressure capabilities so if you're not sure which one is going to work best for you uh, talk to your diamond representative or your local dealer and uh, and we'll walk you through that the diamond forestry mulcher and land clearing work in general requires more diligent maintenance than other applications. Make certain to care for your skid steer by following all of your manufacturer's recommended maintenance procedures. For more information, visit us online at diamondmowers.com. The skid steer forestry disc mulcher by Diamond Mowers, where you can demand brilliance.